Hey guys, this is Jordy1019. Today I will be doing a, my second screencast on my Rooted Galaxy Note 2. And I will be doing my top 10 apps on my Android device. And some of these will require root, so your phone must be rooted. And I will say which ones require root and which ones don't. So let's get started. So Trickster Mod is a pretty awesome app if you want to be able to control your phone as to what it does or how, how it performs. So if you come over here to the beginning, this one just tells you like basically the stats of what's going on inside your phone. So as you guys can see, down here it tells me the, the processing power that each core is using. So it has four cores, it also tells you the temperature of the battery and the chips, CPU. Moving along, you also get to change your processing power. So it's centered at 1.6, but you can go all the way up to 1.9, at least for my device. It might be different on yours. And it can also change the voltage, so you can go to a lower voltage so it doesn't waste as much battery. Um, but you might have to mess with it a little bit so it it's stable enough for your phone. If not, it just won't work as good. So I think, at least for mine, it's it's good at negative 150 would be a good one. And then after that, you have to you have to actually press the check mark up in the right. So so that's basically Trickster Mod. It's a rooted app, so your phone must be rooted. The second one is Six Axes Controller. So this app is a paid app on the Play Store and it also needs root. So what this one does, it's you, once you download it, you also have to download another program on your actual PC. Um, and it takes about five minutes or less. And so what this app allows you to do is play any or many of the uh, games that are on our Android Play Store with your PS3 remote. So after you set up everything on your computer, then it tells you to connect your PS3 remote and then enter a code after you click start. It should give you a code down here in the bottom, Bluetooth address. So on your computer, while your, your PS3 remote is connected, you type in this address. It's gonna give you a little pop-up screen and then you put change address and then it should, or modify and it should, uh, it should start working and then once you just unplug it from your computer and you click start, you type in or you just press and hold the PS button and the, the PlayStation button and then it should automatically connect via Bluetooth and then you can start playing games that are um, able to play with the PS3 remote. So this is a pretty good app. And then when you finish, you click stop on the top right so it turns off the PS3 um, remote and the Bluetooth. The third one is called Attaway, and this app I recommend for everyone, although it does use does need root. Um, it basically gets rid of all the ads that are on most free apps. And most of them have like ads, like say Angry Birds, they'll have ads on top, like a banner of ads. So this one, after you download it, then you click download file and apply ad blocking. So every time you download an app, you might want to go back to this app <clears throat> and just click download files and apply blocking so it recognizes the new app and gets rid of the ads. So it's a pretty good app to have. The fourth one is another rooted app. Um, so what this one does, Droid Cheap, as long as you're connected, as long as you're connected to the same network as other people that are in your home, and they're also using, say, like Twitter or Facebook, once you click start, it'll start looking for um, other devices that are connected, like I said, to the same network, and then you can hack into their Facebook, Twitter, and say Instagram, and just change their their status or whatnot. You really can't change or modify their password. <clears throat> so it's a pretty fun app, I guess, to to use at times. <clears throat> this fifth app is called Cerberus. So this app is pretty uh, hand, handy when it comes to 
say you lose your device, um, this app allows you to locate your device. You can put a password on your device when you're, say you lost your phone and someone else has it. You can, like I said, change your, change your password or essentially take pictures every time someone tries to <clears throat> get into your phone. And you can also locate it, so it's a pretty it's a pretty good app. This one does not need root, although I think there's extra features if it is rooted. And I think it's three dollars at the Play Store. I'm not sure if the if the price went up, but I think it was less than three dollars when I bought it. And you can connect up to five devices, which is pretty good. Um, so <clears throat> when when you do this and say you lose your phone, you can just just go to their serviersapp.com website and you can just do whatever you want how to locate your device or what to do to your device there's also another app called client servers which lets you do everything from another phone and it's also in the play store so this one's a pretty good app if you ever lose your phone so, or you think you might lose your phone so wi-fi kill is another root app and it's pretty it's another one of those hacking apps where once you click start, it'll start looking for devices. You guys can see I already found my tablet, my Samsung tablet. And then you can just click here and it'll start. You can put grab and then kill and it'll kill the uh, their Wi-Fi. So you can kill as many Wi-Fi as there are connected to your uh, network, which is pretty good. So this next one's called Network Spoofer. It's another kind of a hacking app. So the same thing applies as long as another person is connected to the same network. You can mess with them by, say, if they're on YouTube, you can rickroll every YouTube video that they play, troll face every picture that's on their website, on their page, um, that's being displayed on their, on their page, which is, I mean, it's just another hack app, and it does require root. <clears throat> this... Uh, eighth, eighth app is called Foreshared. I mean, this one does not require root. You do have to make an account, I believe, and it's free. This is where I get most of my hacking apps or apps that are not available at, at the Play Store. Sometimes it might not have, not, it might not be here. So you guys just have to check to see someone uploads and whatnot. So it's a pretty good app. <laughs> I mean, that's where I got three or four or five of these apps that are I'm I'm reviewing right now. So that's for share. This ninth um, app is just a calculator, which is really handy if you are in school. Uh, got, as you guys know, some of these calculators go up to exactly this model. The TI-89 goes up in stores at a price at around 180 or so, $180, almost $200. And you can download this. This one's actually in the Play Store, however, you can you only download the actual interface, but it says that you have to purchase the actual RAM um, through TI's website. But you can also extract the RAM from your calculator and just somehow extract it from your calculator and put it on here. I'm not too sure how to do that, but you could also just find the actual RAM on say that previous app, the four shared. Just type in TI-89 RAM or just Google it and this should be a, a RAR file and then all you have to do is put that file in the Android device and on the Android folder and then it should, uh, it should work once you put low ROM. So this is a really good app if you need a graphing calculator. Uh, and for the final app, it's ES File Explorer and this app is really handy when it comes to organizing your files and when you have to move files around. So this is free. Uh, it's in the Play Store and you do not need root. Um, so it's a pretty good one to keep in hand because sometimes you download like say some games from Forshare and it might have to be a RAR file like I downloaded I believe Zombies, Call of Duty Zombies. And it was it's it's a paid app in the Play Store, but I got this for free. And you actually have to put certain files in a certain location. Like I think some file had to be in the Android, OBB, 
And so this is a pretty good way to organize all your files and manage everything that's on your device. <clears throat> and I guess it's a bonus. The 11th one is the screencast. And this is what I'm using right now to record what's on my Android screen. So yeah, guys, this is my top 10 apps for my Android device. And I hope you guys hope you guys liked it. And if you guys have any questions, leave the comments below. As always, make sure to like this video and subscribe. Thank you.